Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Projects and today in this video I am going to show you how to make Arduino based temperature control fan. This project is simply fabricated around Arduino Nano board and temperature sensor LN35. This project are good example of embedded system basically designed using closed loop feedback control system. For proper user interface visual indication we had also used LCD which indicate temperature as well as speed of fan. So before going to how the circuit work, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of every new project that we will update in near future. Now let's see the features of this project. 1. Automatic fan speed control according to temperature. That is, the speed of fan is automatically controlled according to the temperature it this LN35 sends. If we increase the temperature, The speed of fan increase as you can also see here the fan speed is increased second features temperature and speed are display over this LCD third features control circuit and load circuit is isolated using up to isolator that is 4 and 3 5 it provide more protection high power drive circuit that is we are using here IZBT that is isolated gate bipolar transistor maximum temperature indication with extra lead if the temperature of this circuit increase above maximum temperature then did this lead start to glow let's see the demo if the temperature is above 60 degrees celsius then this lead start to glow now after completing this video you will know how to interface this optocoupler using Arduino Nano. How to interface this IGVT that is isolated gate bipolar transistor with Arduino and how to design a closed loop system. Before going to circuit diagram, at first let's see the interfacing of this different component with this Arduino Nano. At first I would like to show you how to interface optocoupler that is this 4N35 with Arduino Nano board. The circuit of interfacing Arduino Nano and optocoupler is shown here. You can use any optocoupler like 4N35 or MCT2E. Here for this demo I am using 4N35. Optocoupler 4N35 is 6 pin optocoupler. But here we are using only 4 pin. Pin 1 of 4N35 that is anode pin is connected to PWM pin of Arduino Nano. Here for in this demo we are using pin number 11 or digital pin 11 as PWM pin but you can use any other according to your requirement. The main reason of using PWM pin is to vary voltage but you can use digital pin instead according to your requirement. As you can see here one current limiting resistor is connected between Arduino PWM pin 11 and anode pin that is pin 1 of optocoupler in order to protect lead from burnout. Let's calculate the value of resistor that is connected between Arduino PWM pin and anode pin of optocoupler. If you see the data sheet of 4 and 3 5, forward voltage of diode is 1.2 volt whereas forward current of 4 and 3 5 is 10 milliampere. But the maximum output voltage from Arduino is 5 volt. Now let's calculate the voltage difference that is voltage supply from Arduino Nano and the voltage required for 4 and 3 5 that is 5 volt minus 1.2 volt is equal to 3.8 volt. Now this voltage difference that is 3.8 volt is voltage drop out by resistor in order to protect lead of optocoupler. Now let's calculate the value of resistor using Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law we know that resistor is equal to voltage by current. That is voltage is equal to 3.8 volt and current required is equal to 10 milliampere. Therefore R is equal to 380 ohms. This R is equal to 380 ohm is the minimum value of resistor we have to use at input side. You can use higher value of resistor but you cannot use lower value. 
Now current limiting at other side depend upon the circuit and operating voltage. While designing a circuit using optocoupler or opto isolator, we have to consider one point that is do not connect ground of control circuit and switch circuit together that is both the ground must be isolated as shown in circuit diagram in this video i am not going to show you how to interface 16 to 2 lcd or how to connect a 16 to 2 lcd with arduino because previously we had already posted tutorial on how to interface 16 to 2 lcd with arduino so if you have any problem in connecting the system to LCD then please do watch previous posted video the link is given in description section now let's see the interfacing of Arduino and LM35 LM35 is a temperature sensor which sends temperature and generate voltage according to temperature if we see the data sheet of LM35 it produced 10 millivolt per degree change in temperature Arduino read this value using its internal analog to digital converter and produce the value in digital form. Arduino have inbuilt 10 bit ADC. That is, it can divide the analog voltage into 1024. By default, Arduino can map 5 volt input voltage into 1024 steps. From this value, we can calculate the resolution of Arduino. If we divide 5 volt divided by 1024, the value came is 4.88 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt. That is 4.88 millivolt. If we use default internal reference, then Arduino can detect 4.88 millivolt change. From the data sheet of LM35, 10 millivolt change in per degree Celsius. So if we use default Arduino reference, difference then it gives accuracy of about 0.5 degree celsius the fan i'm going to control or the fan i'm going to drive here is 24 volt dc fan which arduino cannot drive standalone thus we need a switching circuit power mosfet and bzt can both be used in high power switching application the mosfet has the advantage of greater switching speed and the BJT has lower conduction losses. By combining the lower conduction losses of BJT and the switching speed of power MOSFET, we can begin to approach an ideal switch. This hybrid device is called IGBT, that is Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor. Here in this circuit, I am using IGBT instead of power MOSFET and bipolar transistor. So, IGVT have more advantage than MOSFET and BZT. Therefore, this is effective solution for high voltage and current applications at modded frequencies. IGVT is three terminal device. It has gate, it has emitter and collector. Gate is connected to control signal, whereas collector is connected to load and emitter is connected to ground. Now gate of IGBT is connected to pin 4 of optocoupler. One resistor is connected between gate of IGBT and ground of power supply in order to avoid false triggering. DC fan is connected between power supply and connector of IGBT as shown in circuit diagram. For protection, we had used one flyback diode which is connected across DC fan in order to protect the circuit from transient voltage produced in inductor. Power supply is used according to the power rating of DC fan. If we see the power specification of the fan I am using that is 24 volt DC and 0.24 ampere. Now let's see the circuit diagram of Arduino based temperature control fan. Now let's see how the circuit work or let's summarize how the circuit work. Temperature sensor detect the temperature and generate voltage according to temperature it sends. Arduino Nano compare output voltage to temperature sensor and operate the fan. As here we are using PWM pin the speed of fan is variable according to temperature. According to the software code, fan start to rotate at 25 degrees Celsius 
and at 60 degrees Celsius that is maximum temperature the speed of fan become 100 degrees Celsius. LCD show the value of temperature and fan speed where LED 1 indicate the temperature status that is glowing LED 1 indicate temperature is at maximum or above maximum. If we see the software part it is very simple and straightforward. At first we are declaring header file for LCD and then pin definition for LCD. After that we had also defined the pin for temperature sensor, LED and fan. As temp output of temperature sensor is analog type so we are assigning temperature sensor to analog pin A1. But you can use any analog pin from A0 to A5 according to your requirement. Similarly, we need different fan speed so we have to define fan for PWM output. Here in this circuit I am using PWM pin 11 for output so for fan I am assigning pin 11 and the one LED is connected in order to indicate the higher temperature which is connected to pin number 8 of Arduino Nano. After that we had assigned minimum temperature and maximum temperature. Here in this prototype I am assigning 25 degrees Celsius as minimum temperature and 6 degrees Celsius as maximum temperature. You can adjust according to your requirement. After that we had assigned or we had make another two variable that is fan speed and fan LCD which is used in further. In order to store the value of fan speed and its percentage. After pin definition and header file declaration void setup function is started. Here we are declaring input pin and output pin LCD begin serial begin. Fan and LED is output pin so we assign these two pin as output where as temperature pin or temperature sensor in pin is as input pin. In setup file we had also begin the serial monitor and LCD. After setup function loop function is started. At first it read the value of temperature pin and convert it into temperature by multiplying input voltage into 0.4882125 as shown in software code. After that we had compare the temperature with minimum temperature. If temperature become less than minimum temperature value that is less than 25 degrees Celsius then at this condition fan is not spinning and LCD so fan is equal to 0%. After compare temperature with minimum temperature it's time to check whether the temperature is in range or not if the temperature is in range that is between 25 degrees celsius and 60 degrees celsius here the fan rotate at fan speed value of temperature sensed by temperature sensor is mapped between 32 and 255 according to the temperature it sends and assign this value to fan speed syntax of fan speed that is fan speed is equal to map temp temp min temp max 32 255 it is clear that the minimum value of fan speed is equal to 32 and the maximum value of fan speed is equal to 255 according to the temperature it sends we had also mapped the value of temperature in order to show the speed of fan in display from 0 to 100 percent here for mapping we are using 0 to 100 instead of 32 to 255 because percentage is between 0 to 100 percent. After that we activate pin number 11 as analog write because we are using PWM pin and the value at this pin is equal to fan speed. Now if the temperature is greater than maximum temperature that is greater than 60 degrees Celsius then we activate LED by digital right LED pin as high and turn off the LED in else all other condition. After that we display all this value on LCD that is temperature in degree Celsius and speed of fan in percentage. Download the source code from the link given in description section, upload to your Arduino Nano, connect all the components as well in circuit diagram and your own Arduino based temperature control fan is ready. Now let's see the output. If we increase the temperature of this LM35. As you can 
as you can see here the speed of fan increase and the speed of fan is also displayed over this LCD increases in this way you can make thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon